when the rapture comes, are you prepared? Are you, are you, have you, um, have you taken that, that decision to walk with Jesus to realize that yes, you are, you are expecting a second coming? That is Jesus. A fresh start is a new beginning. No bad records, all empty state. For you to start afresh, you need to know that it's a new beginning. All you need to do is walk with Jesus, carry Jesus along. In your place of work, they should know and see Jesus in you. In what you do before you go out, you should pray. That is how to carry Jesus along with you. Your prayer life should not be uh, the prayer life of up and on. Also in, in 2020, I also realized that because the environment was so intense, the lockdown were all at home, I discovered that every now and then, every hour I pray. Not because I want to pray, but because the Spirit is urging me to pray. That's now that I realized that, ah, so I carry the presence of God. I carry Jesus to be everywhere I go. Your prayer life should be burning for God. Your prayer life should intercede for others. That is how you carry Jesus along with you. Praise the Lord. How to walk with Jesus. How do you walk with Jesus? Now that you are ready, you realize that in this two years, to start this year, as the first start, you need to carry Jesus, you need to walk with Jesus. But how do you go about it? How do you, how do you, how do you walk with Jesus? The Bible says that two cannot, two cannot walk together except they are agree. Except you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. That's the first thing you need to do. The only thing you need to do is to put upon accept and agree with Jesus. In that agreement, the power of God comes upon you. The power of God comes upon you to be able to, to do what is right, not what your flesh is asking for. The Bible says that it is only though that the Spirit can control the Skyrim. So it is only when you are in Jesus, when you have accepted Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior, you can be fervent in your prayers. You can be able to decide on doing what is right. Many are compromised. Many in their place of work compromise every day because they don't see um, Jesus as their Lord. If they see Jesus as their Lord, they won't compromise. Many in business are failing because they don't carry Jesus to their business. Some of them will tell you that, ah, in this business, leave God aside. I will do it without Jesus. I will do it without God. Many have failed because they believe that it is what they get in life is all about their strength. A man receives nothing except the gift given to you from God. So when you realize that you 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 to be dependent on God, your life depends on God Himself. You will know that yes, in this new year, you need to start this year uh, with Jesus. How do you walk with Jesus? Galatians chapter five, verse seventeen. So how do you walk with Jesus? Galatians chapter 5 verse 17. Um, 17 to 26. For the flesh lusted after the spirit, and the spirit after the flesh. These are contrary to one another, so that ye cannot do the things ye would. So how do you walk with Jesus? Now is by next week we'll be starting the fasting. And you will now realize that now. This is the year I need to decide to start my year with Jesus. You need to, you need to know that now the flesh will also want to come and fight your spirit to do what is right. So you need to make up your mind to decide that yes, I will, I will put the flesh where it belongs and and bring up my spirit man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For ye be led of the Spirit, and ye are not under the law. Now that the works of the flesh are manifested, are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, raw strife, petitions, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, rebellions, and such like of which I tell you before. As I have also told you in the 
time passed, that ye, which you such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are in Christ have crucified the flesh with their flesh and their affections and laws. Now, for you to be able to walk with Jesus, verse 24, is telling us that they that are in Christ have crucified the flesh with their, with their affections and laws. So, you must make up your mind to crucify the flesh for you to walk with Jesus. You can't be in the spirit and be in the flesh. You can't be in this world and be in God. You have to take a decision. You have to decide if you want to serve God or want to serve Mammon. You want to take it, you have to take a decision if you truly want to walk with God in this new year. Verse 26. Let us not be desirous of bankruptcy, provoking one another, envying one another. So in this new year, in this walk with Christ, you need to Ensure that everything that has to do with the flesh is put aside. You need to kill the flesh, crucify the flesh, that Christ may be alive in you. Praise the Lord. How, how to walk with Christ, how to walk with Jesus. How to walk with Christ is you have to look at uh, the word of God. Many in their daily activities, they forget that the word of God is, 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 their, is their fuel that they need to power their spiritual life. So, in this old 365 days in the year, it's only when they come to the church, they open their Bible. But in this new year, if you want to walk with Jesus, you need to decide on a daily basis, I must study my Bible, I must meditate, not just study your Bible, you must meditate, recite, rehearse, and read the Bible. And get Rema, get, get, get God's word, get God's inspiration. Hear from God, even while you study the word. It is only by doing this you can, you can walk with Jesus. If you don't study the Bible, you are not loaded. When the devil comes, when the enemy comes, they attack you. You don't know any scripture to fight back. You don't know any scripture to to, to defend yourself. So how do you walk with Jesus? You need to meditate on, the, on God's word on a daily basis, not just on a weekly, on a daily basis, three, day and night. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 says that this book of the Lord shall not depart. Then you will meditate day and night that you may have good success. So if you are missing out in God's word, in this year, and you want to walk with Jesus, you need to decide, make up your mind that this word should not depart from your mouth. The word of God, you meditate it day and night. People don't just come out and say that ah, they are loaded, they are filled with the Spirit of God without knowing the scriptures. You must be particular of God's word, and that word is the Bible. The Bible must be in and out of you. You must be able to recite, remember, and meditate on God's word. That is where God will speak to you. If you don't, if you don't do this thing in this year, you are not working with Jesus. So how to work with Jesus is for you to meditate on God's word, and also your prayer life. There are people that. In the old way, the only time you pray is when you come to church. That should not, that should not be in this year, in this 2022. At the start this year with Jesus, your prayer life should be every hour, everywhere you go, be, be in the Spirit. Be in the Spirit. Pray always. The Bible says that men ought to pray and not to pray. When you pray, you are, you are controlling the physical. You are controlling everything around you. This last week, what will happen this week? I've already seen everything and I'm prepared for it. Because I'm always in the mood of prayer. You can't see me not knowing what will happen next. I've seen what will happen. So you can only be in that mood when you are in prayer. When you are in the mood, when you are always in the spirit. You can't 
do it without doing it. So your prayer life should be that every now and then you should be praying. In this year, in, as the first start, decide before you go to bed, you pray. You wake up, or any time, any time you wake up at night, you pray. In the morning, before you leave the house, you pray. You do it as a lifestyle. Prayer should be part of your life. Any man that doesn't pray, you are faced with any talent, you run away because you don't feel that you can confront such challenges. And in life, to be frank with you, life is about to be. If you are not prepared, you will be, you will be, you will be placed on yourself. The devil will walk on you. If you are not prepared in this life, this life is a battlefield. You need to decide that yes, you are in a battlefield and you must put on the whole armor of God to fight your battles of life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How to walk with Jesus. I've made mention of the presentation of the word of God, your prayer life, and also doing the work of God, service to God. Um, for me, I've decided to keep my tongue for a special day, for a day for God. I had it talk to people ask me, why do you talk? I said, this talk is kept for a special purpose. That is why I don't talk. That is my service to God. Most times, people don't realize that there are some things your body is not meant to be your body. Your body is actually the temple of the living God. So it's now for you to know that that body is a vessel and God will use it. Then the day God will ask you, to give account of that body. So you need to keep that body, give it as a service to God Almighty. So whatever you are doing, is it for evangelism? It is a service. For you to walk with God, you need to do the things of God. Be there for God, and God will help you in Jesus' name. The danger of not walking with Jesus. What are the dangers? We have had that um, so many things that uh, if you walk with Jesus, you'll be empowered, you have this, you have that. But now, what are the dangers? If you don't walk with God, it shows that uh, in, the, in the battle of life, you'll be defeated, woefully. The devil will take you as a football and you'll be kicked left and right. In the battle of life, you have no ground, you have no sin because uh, you are not walking with Jesus. Jesus is not showing you things. Jesus is not helping you because you refuse to carry him along. So the danger is that you will lose heaven because you are not you have not made up your mind to realize that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. The danger of not working with Jesus. You also realize that um, your prayers will not be answered. Your prayers will be answered because most times when you don't when you don't have Jesus with you. Whatever you pray, you won't be answered because uh, you are not carrying Jesus with you. And you are not walking with Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we realize that Jesus himself will be disconnected from you. Heaven will be disconnected from you. Your spiritual eyes will be blind. Uh, you will be prayerless. You will find out that you can't even meditate on the word of God. And when the enemy comes, they will, they will deal with you in such a way that you know that you don't have any power to fight back. Praise the Lord. The benefit of having a fresh start with Jesus. What are the benefits? What do you benefit by putting Jesus first in this new year? Let's look at the book of Psalm chapter 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and is his law to his meditate day and night. You can see that uh, you meditating on God's word day and night, God will have the delight in you. You will have the delight in the Lord as well. It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bring forth his fruit in the season. His name shall not be that. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So you, you realize that whatsoever you do, your prosperity 
is lie in you walking with Jesus. You realize that uh, your leave, your season, every season you can call for any season because you are walking with Jesus. In the book of um, Second Kings, when um, when Elisha was confronted by the Amalekites, and he said, "Lord, open, open their eyes and let them see." And immediately God opened their eyes. Why? Because Elijah was walking with God. And God instantly answered his prayer. So when, when you walk with Jesus in this new year, your prayers are answered instantly. I've also realized that there are some things I say and immediately they come to pass. I was I just said this time, it's coming to pass. Because I've kept my tongue for over how many years don't misuse it. I know the power of the tongue. And that is also the benefit of working with God in this year. Praise the Lord. So the presence of God will be with you. Also the, the benefit of working with Jesus in this new year at the first time. The presence of God will be with you. You will be a carrier of God's presence. The enemy cannot just come and, and play with you. You will see that angels who will be there to fight for you. That is the benefit of walking with Jesus. Also, let's look at um, Psalm chapter 1, 1 to 1, verse 1 to 8. What are the benefits of walking with Jesus in this new year as the first start? I will lift up my eyes unto the east for west come my head. My help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. When you realize that uh, for a fresh start with Jesus, your help comes from no man. Don't depend on man. Depend solely in God. Depend solely in Jesus. Carry Jesus in your 2022. Carry him everywhere you go. Then the Lord will supply all your needs. Your help will come from above. Your help will come from heaven, not from any man. My help coming from the Lord, which means heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keepeth you will not slumber. The Lord will not, the Lord will keep you. And the Lord will not slumber. Be he that keepeth this day shall never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my sheep upon my right hand. The sun shall not find my day, nor the moon my mind. The Lord shall preserve you for all evil. The Lord shall preserve you for all. The Lord shall preserve you for all. The Lord shall preserve you for all. He shall preserve thy soul. In 2022, um, in 2020, I have a vision that um, my mom is about to be attacked. And that same vision I prepared it. Because immediately I got that vision and I the coming that she was seeing. I knew what was coming. And immediately to me, that same vision, I repaired it. So it is telling you that you have the power to decide who lives and who goes. That is the power to enjoy. That is the benefit you have in good Christ Jesus. You can decide what you want in your life. It is the power of the tongue. And also these are benefits that come with you diligently working with God. Not in the flesh, but in the spirit. You walk, you make up your mind to walk in the spirit, make up your mind to decide to walk with Jesus, and God will grant you his blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And lastly, in Matthew chapter 20, 28, verse 20, Jesus himself said that behold, behold, behold. I give unto you all power. All power in heaven and on earth belongs to me. That is the confidence you should have while working with Jesus. Okay, so let me read Matthew chapter 28. Praise the Lord. Lastly, Matthew chapter 28, verse 20.
also teaching them to have all things whatsoever I have commanded you. No, I am with you always, even unto the end of the that is also the benefit of working with Jesus. He has also assured you that in this 2022, as you start this year with me, with Jesus, I will be with you always. Jesus will be with you always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even up to the end of the world, the Lord is saying, I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. God is saying, I am with you. In that situation, God is saying, I am with you. In everything that you are doing, God is telling you that I'm with you. That I will be your helper. I will be your helper. Help comes from no man, but from God. I will be your helper. God is also saying that whatsoever you pray, I will answer. Ask whatsoever you need, I will answer. God is also saying that I will be with you always. I will be with you always. So as you start this year with the Lord, the Lord is saying, I will be with you always. Before we pray, um, before I conclude, I know there are people here that, um, that have not taken that decision. That solemn decision to say, yes, I need to start my year, my life, or take a resolution to say, I want to give my life to Jesus. This is an opportunity for you to take this decision. In Christ, there is no or genuine salvation. If not mark that is genuine salvation, if not, if not taking that date with God to say yes, I have a fresh start with Jesus. This is an opportunity for you to come forward and I will pray for you. And the Lord will fill you with his glory. The Lord will fill you with his presence. If you want to take that decision that today, mark the, the ninth day of January, 2020, you want to give your life to Jesus, come forward, I will pray with you. And you mark it as a best, a spiritual best thing for your life. To start the 2022 with Jesus. And the Lord will bless you. So I'll pray with you if you want to take that decision to give your life to Jesus. At the first start to Jesus, come forward and I'll pray with you. And let's be all upstanding. Let's commit the word of God into the hand of our, our maker. He has spoken to us, he has given us the word. That word has come. The word has come with healing, with deliverance. The word has come to uh, refocus us, to make us have a fresh start, to give us a fresh life, to give us a refreshed life. Let's start this year with the Lord. Let's start the Lord here with our Lord Jesus Christ.